What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Saga Log. Hopefully, you all are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Honestly, I am very shocked and wondering how this is going to go. This honestly could go in many different ways. It could go terribly. It could go great. We'll find out here in a minute. We have a gym leader battle. And if you guys do not know, I have just now i'm sorry uh, it's my fault i just now posted what you should like guess is and like what to guess and all that stuff so if you guys got to it great if not i am totally it i'm not i wouldn't be shocked um i put up what i'm gonna start doing from now on instead of going from a gym to gym basis like i have been doing is grouping the gyms so like i'll be like of course gen 6 is not a great example of this well i mean it kind of is but like i'll first i'll start with viola and there's a lot of distance between viola and grant so then when i get to grant or when i get close to grant i'll be like grant fine um not grant but like uh grant fighting girl karina and grass guy will be in a block and then i will put clamont valerie in their chunk and then when i get down with valerie i can put olivia there um actually i, I would put probably grant valerie olivia in their chunk and then it's a while before we even get to the snowball city gym leader like so i'm gonna chunk them up because a lot of games, right, they have this, like, issue when it comes to spacing, right? And figuring out when to space, how to space, and all of that. So, I'm going to try and make that not an issue. Because right at this current moment, I feel like it is. And I feel bad that it is. Because it really shouldn't be. Anyways... Moving forward, I picked some mons, so if you guys comment on this episode, you will be able to get any points and stuff that I earn on the episode. I led with Siren, which is clearly a bad decision. I got everybody up to level 44. I felt like that was a pretty safe number, considering that our gym leader that we're facing today is level 45, so I was like... I felt like if level 44, yeah, that was okay. It was livable. It's something that works. And as long as it works, it works, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I'm going to put my fan on. Hopefully direct it away. So that way you guys don't hear it. Um, or if you hear it, you hear it faintly. But I'm just trying to use it as like background noise. Um for when I'm recording and stuff just in case I get a hair loud I don't anticipate that being a problem but just in the case you never know it could this could be a battle of the century or it could be just a nothing and meaningless situation so better prep for the possibility of it being bad right to like prepare for myself to be insane or not insane but be mad about the silliness of this all. So that's what I'm preparing for. I'm prepared to have a golem, Arceus, some annoying something like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lead Curious now. Don't necessarily know how I quite feel about that, but I've got to live with that decision now. I made it. No, I'm glad I stopped. I was like, mm, trust not that. Ooh. I needed a okay, so I need to not hit the speed up button because that is actually going to be my pain with this gym is I'm going to want to hit the speed up and it's just not going to work out as effectively as I would like. Does this count or does this hinder me still? I don't like that. I feel like that should not have been a hindrance, but okay. Actually, that guy's going to bump. That's going to work. I'm okay with that. 
that prevented me from losing space. Okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> like, that's a win in my book. Um, it might not be in other people's book, but in my book, that's OW. Also, Cherim. Grass, honestly, is just that weird type that I feel like we should not have problems with, but yet we do. Because yeah that's just odd to me like in my like in my mental framework i'm like oh it's a grass type it's okay we'll live we'll do what we need to do and it's just like mm, you don't have very many people that can take care of that effectively and i'm just like yeah you're right brain even though i want you to be wrong um in this case in a lot of cases though i actually i've been proud of the way that my uh so that my brain's been working so for you guys that don't know i'm actually in a uh fantasy football league with troll joy and like the gang that from the uh, fre pokemon association primarily um with sds included and um bob um so i've been excited to kind of do stuff and mess around um i say like i say the FAP league thing what I really mean is the main people from that league so buff um papa troll joy so that's what I mean by that you're a force trainer battle but it's okay so yeah so that's what I mean like honestly I love this, that group um and it's really funny um that group in general is really just it's hilarious to kind of sit back and watch and see kind of what people think about xyz what strikes a chord with different people because like the things that strike a chord with me don't strike a chord with other people and like it's just it's very interesting to say the least to see that and I've been having a very good time in the league. It's been hilarious. It's been. I'm two and one right now. I am big chilling. I'm sitting number three. That could all fall apart literally next week. But it's fine. We'll live with whatever happens. Because, again, it's just for fun. It's like, that's that's what it is. It's a fun thing that I just enjoy doing. Um, and I was looking at like the way that the teams have been right and i looked at throughout the first two weeks so of course i say i'm two and one but that the the third week just ended because like i said this for me and troll because both of our teams all played tonight but there's some other competitors i think it's buff and papa that have people playing tomorrow um so with that being said the week's not finalized so i was looking at the way that the last two weeks have gone to kind of see a little bit of hmm how am i doing like sh my, how is my team what is my team looking like and my team is not looking bad and like i said i'm ranked number three i'm solidified in rank number three no matter the results of the games right because so it's very very interesting to see that so like number three is a good spot for me to be in i'm happy with it um two and one i lost a buff um but buff has a really good like a, a lot of people have a really good team i think that that's one thing that i enjoy is that most everyone has a really good team and so it's any given sunday which is how football works in its entirety normally so it's fun to see that well, I looked, and I'm two and one, yet in the points four category with for, throughout the first two weeks of the season, I was seventh, or eight, sixth out of eight members of this thing. Six, of course, I, I freaking switch out, freaking curious, and what do you do? Send it a seismitoad. Jeez Louise, Batman. Okay. I guess I gotta go Oogle Blip here. So, like, so yeah, it was nice. It was funny to see that, because I was just like, wow, I'm literally sixth. 
in points four. Now that does change because this week I so far am number one in points this week. So that was a, like didn't happen most. Of the, it, it hasn't happened yet. Um, so I'm hoping that my team's on the up and up and continues to be on the up and up. But we'll find out <laughs> that here in a minute because whew, we have an interesting week four matchup. But I don't know. I just genuinely have a ton of fun. Oh. Swalots. That is not fun for my team. I think I'm going to go Siren. That seems like my play. Um. So yeah, so it's kind of interesting and fun and like it's and fun to see kind of where my team is, what my team should do better, how my team will perform. Um, I am projected with like a 74% chance to make the playoffs right now, which is big chilling, having a great time with that. Um, I'm like, okay, like, but I just don't know because fantasy football is unpredictable and that's what I like about it is that it you can do and you can th you can put as much thought into it as you want but realistically putting thought into it actually hinders what you can do and geez louise Skyla you really want to be a setup per person like why what is the point in all of that I feel like there's no point in trying to set up like girl you can you can try you can do with what you will but really setting up two layers of spikes, two layers of toxic spikes, like, you're going to, I, I can almost, I can feel it right now that this girl is setting up all of this, right? She's about to send out a freaking grass type that I'll have to literally switch troll into making those poison spikes literally not matter. <laughs> like, I just, I just feel that in my bones that that's going to happen. Also, jeesh, why did you tank, why are you tanking things a lot better now? Excuse me. Watch. Yeah, you're going to set up something that's super effective against poison. Ooh, that's going to not... Oh, the poison. Uh, you're going to heal again, aren't you? No, you're not. Okay, cool. I have a feeling it's going to be a poison. It's going to be something that's weak to poison right here, right now. I have a gut instinct and a gut... My gut is telling me that that is going to be the case and to watch out for it. It's dealt. Which is honestly worse because <laughs> I have a flying type. I could just switch a flying type in right now and not have to worry about it. But Dell is bug and poison, so I'm going to go into troll anyways because troll resists both stabs. So I mean, go for it, girl. Poisons, your toxic spikes don't even matter. So that's fine with me. Airlock, weather effects don't matter, which is didn't matter really in the first place. But cross poison, I don't think this is I think this is not neutral. I think it's it's not very effective. Yeah, it is. Okay. How much damage does this do? Nothing. That makes me think, what do you have that you'd want to set that up with? Really? Acid spray into poison sting. Do you just have nothing for me? You straight up have nothing for this Pokemon. Okay. You do you, Eliza. Or, uh, Eliza. Skyla. Like, you straight up wasted so much time that it legitimately did not matter. Like, that lowers my special attack. Like, this, this would have been a... Like, what, what could this mod have done? Is what I'm thinking now. It's like, was it actually, like, responsible to leave this mod at the end? Or was it just because I had troll, and troll could literally, like, just tank whatever I needed it to? I don't think it was because I could tank whatever I needed it to, though. I straight up don't think... Ooh. T 
time to for a quick hop in my plane. Hey, where did Professor Juniper go? Oh my gosh, I'm Professor Juniper. I'm right here. Let's go to Opelousid, but we have to go there via Lentimus Town. Professor, wait up. Oh my gosh, you need to come too. Uh, I know, we gotta get three different encounters, or two different encounters, or how many different encounters I get <gasps> because of that. But let's see who can learn Shadow Ball, because that's a really good move. Um, watch Ugo be able to learn it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ugo Blip. That's actually better than Mist Ball. So I don't want you out on poison types. That, that that's actually legitimately bad. Ogle Blip, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you being this way, Ogle Blip? The actual half temptedness in me to freaking get rid of amnesia and just freaking add a assault vest onto Ogle Blip because of the god tier moves that it's learning. I like that idea actually. Buy amnesia. Now we just gotta find a freaking assault vest. I th don't know where I can find one, but I gotta freaking find one because my golly gee Whitakers, freaking Oogle Blip is going to die. So none of this actually matters. But <laughs> freaking Oogle Blip, I swear, like that that's gotta be the mon that gets killed, right? Like there's no freaking way it's not. I mean, I would love it not to be because they're like the thing is, is like my team has a lot of players, but they don't synergize. It's like if you had a freaking basketball team that was Kobe Bryant, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, like that, and then you have like LeBron James and. Um, like Giannis there you go so it's like that like if I had a team of that caliber but like then all of them just wanted to selfishly be in the spotlight and actually do something that's this team that's the prime definition of this team like because they, they don't mesh they, they don't like, honestly, you cannot tell me that this team meshes or this team is great and blah, 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 blah. It's not. I know it. You know it. It's fine. Um, do we even have... Wait, I only get one encounter. Wait a minute. I only get one. I guess I only get one because that's Reversal Mountain. So I guess we gotta go for it. Oh. I don't wanna get. Wow, that was expert dodging on my part. Not even gonna front. That felt good. That was a very expert dodging. Okay, our encounter is... That is dupes. I am gonna elect to call that dupes. It's water type. Yes. I do understand that. Do I want it? Mm. Yes and no. Like, it's a hundred base stat total across the board, which makes it kind of less wanted. But I'm definitely not going to waste a Master Ball on it. That's for sure. I, I'm not going to waste my Master Ball on it. 
Oh, good to know you carried Aqua Jet and decided to freaking crit instantly. <laughs> good to know that. Um, we'll find out if this strength hit is worth it. I think it is, because I don't... Yeah. Okay, so now I feel like it's definitely safe to go Siren. Because I don't think it's going to have anything that realistically can just chunk into Siren. So now it's time to figure out. Can't move. That's fine. I'm going to hit it with a Water Pledge. I think it can live. Okay, then. I, I, I guess that you're going to have a freaking good ability. Uh, that's really not a good ability. Kind of is, though, because I can... That's... that's, that's water immunity, which is very helpful in this stage of the game. Like, having water immunity is not bad. I should not underrate that. The other thing is it also means that I am completely unable to deal any more realistic chip damage. We'll see how much this Aquajet does. I don't think it's going to do that much. Even at plus whatever. Yeah. You're plus three, and that's still an eight. It's like, yeah, you're a mana fee. You're a great Pokemon, but... Oh, I thought that helped with flying types, too, but I guess it doesn't. It's just bug and uh, water. I mean, if I catch a mana fee in a net ball, that'd be kind of cool, right? Because it's not, it is a water type. Or does it say Pokemon, ooh, that's Joy's favorite move. Does it say Pokemon that live in the water? Oh, yeah, so it works well on water and bug types. So not that it works well on the water, just on the water or the bug types. I wanted to see if there was that differentiation there because that could have been the case. Water pulls. I mean, you're not showing any actual way of increasing your special attack, which that's what I'm worried about, honestly. So I'm not opposed to spending 90% of the episode just figuring this out. Seeing if we can catch this thing, because it's not a bad Mon. It's a good possibility for replacement. It does seal fate on certain Pokemon. I'm not going to name names, but like... You're not going to let me have a mana fee. <laughs> Let's be 100% honest. There's no way y'all are letting me have this if I can decide to catch this. Um, which I'm pretty intent on. It gave up. It was just like, you're pretty intent on catching me. Okay, fine. Fine is what I'm going to name you. It's fine. The fact that I'm actually naming a Pokemon it's fine might trigger some. But I think it's funny. Because that's literally what it said. It's fine. I'll go into the ball. But we know its ability, so that's good. I actually like knowing its ability earlier. Because that means that we can just truck on through. I think I healed pointlessly because I, I don't know. I do that all the time. I'm like, oh, God, I go heal now. And it's like, no, you don't. Yeah, because this is still the mountain. Okay, cool. Good to know that this would not be considered a new encounter. So if we would have gotten it in the... I'm happy with what I got. <laughs> I'll take Manaphy over this any day. I'm sorry, Jinx, but yeah, that's the truth. Okay. Hi, Bianca Joy. So in episode 190, fucking crazy, um, we'll be hanging out with Bianca Joy, having Bianca Joy's favorite football hottie, and doing anything possible to, like, hopefully get Bianca Joy 
to not kill anything in the game and get the real joy to like I don't know not kill things because joy has the table which I think is part of the reason why I wasn't too concerned about you guys picking your Pokemon for this episode not gonna lie joy has the table joy has plus seven plus eight actually so what is joy gonna kill we'll find out next episode because joy gets to kill something bye